Want to make money off your comics? Let's make that happen. We're looking at the top five websites for selling your webcomic. So let's jump right in. Number five, iTunes. iTunes, for goodness sakes, the submission page is just a bunch of things you have to download and do before you can even submit your stuff. So it's just like, what? Submission is ridiculous. You have to download the iTunes producer, the iTunes Connect, the iTunes app. You have to have Apple ID in order just to submit something on this. It's just like, no. I'm done. But your revenue stream would be selling directly. You get a net income of 70%. It is DRM free. DRM free means it, they will not restrict your comics use after it's been sold. And it, I don't know how far it reaches. So, I mean, I know iTunes get to 51 countries, but that's about it. I wouldn't recommend this site, honestly. I just could not figure anything out. It was just way complicated. I didn't, yeah, no. But if you know how to use iTunes to sell comics, which I know you can do, I just don't know how to do it. If you know how to do it, can you please comment? Tell us, how did you figure it out? Cause I couldn't do it. <laughs> so next one, number four, Amazon. It, you know, I mean, at least I knew I was on the right page. That's a good thing. You'll be using Kindle Direct Publishing. And the thing is with Amazon, you'll be selling directly on their Kindle app. So you have to download the Kindle Comic Creator tool to create your comic in the correct format. And yes, I did say that right. Mm -hmm. That was hard to say. It offers the KDP Cover Creator to create a comic book cover. But basically, yeah, you have to do it in their format. Otherwise, they can't use it, which I don't know if that's something that's easy to do or not. So I was like, okay, that's great. Submission, I don't even know. I don't have an Amazon account, so I wasn't able to see how you submit anything. So I don't even know how that's done. Um, the revenue stream, you'd be making royalties. If you sell for less than $2.99, you get 30%. If you sell for something like $2.99 between $9.99 in that area, you get 70%. But it does say you'll be paying for the credit card fees. So you'll be making more like 50%. It is DRM free, so they will not restrict your comic after it's been sold. And it has a reach of 500 million. That's just the number of people that have downloaded the Kindle app. Not to mention probably the other dozens of people that uses Amazon. Dozens. <laughs> so, I mean, I halfway recommend it. Halfway. Because I'm not sure how to use it. If you know how to use it, please comment because I don't know. Um, it seems intimidating to me and I'm afraid I would get buried in the number of products available on Amazon. So I'm just over here like, hmm. It's a little scary, so that's just me. Let's go on to number three, Comixology. The rhyming is real. It's it's one of the first websites ever created so that you can publish your comic online. So it is an older website, but it has a lot of history, which is good. They're very professional. They have a fact that you can go to if you have questions. Um, it's, it's a subsidiary of Amazon now, and I don't know what that means, but yay. So submission is doable. I just, again, couldn't figure out how to do it for the most part. You have to go to the bottom of the page to get to the submission thing, and then you have to sign in, but you have to have an Amazon account. So I don't have an Amazon account, so I don't know exactly how to submit. Um, <laughs> the revenue stream, you'd be selling directly. The net income is 50% of the net sale. DRM free, it is, so they will not restrict your comic after it has been sold and it reaches 3 million people. This site alone has 3 million people that go to it. And I don't even know if Amazon affects that number at all. So whatever, it's a good site. Number two, Gumroad. Actually, the site is really, really, really professional. And there's only like two things that kept this from being number one for me. So honestly, I'd recommend this one a lot. Let's just get into it. You get in and you sign up and it's just like, cool, you signed up, give us this info, give you that info, and now you want to submit something? And I'm like, oh, um, no, but thanks. So submission is really easy. Um, you can track who's buying your stuff. They give you a ton of analytical information on who's buying it, where it's coming from, and all this other business. It's super professional. And um, you'd be selling directly through their storefront. I don't know if the other sites allow this, but Gumroad lets you set your own prices. The other cool thing is they have two versions of Gumroad, but it really doesn't matter because let me just let me just tell you this. The free version of Gumroad, they'll take 8.5% of your net income and then 30 cents per transaction. That means you keep in 91.5% of your net income on your comic, which is crazy. The other sites don't even offer something like that. And then if you want to be extra and pay 10 bucks a month, you'll get their premium Gumroad site or whatever. And they'll only take 3.5% and 30 cents per transaction of your net income. So you'd be making like 96.5% of your net income. That's crazy. It's a lot and I'm excited. It is DRM free, so they will not restrict your comic once it's been sold. Here's the mind blowing thing. It has a reach of 10 million people. 
10 million people go to this website and I'm just like, I ain't never heard of this website before, but that's really good. So this site I think is the best in general and it's extremely professional. So I would recommend it. This is number one, Tapas or Tapastic or Tapas.io. I don't really know. It's got several names. This site is obviously geared toward people my age who are not professional really. And they're just like trying to get their stuff out there. <laughs> but it's, ex it's just so easy to use. You get in, you can find comics, you can buy comics, you can go over here, you can publish your own. Submission's really easy. They got a publish thing up on the right corner. You just go up there and they'll be like, okay, what you want to submit, a comic or a novel? And I'm like, thank you. Don't make me use a weird program that I have to learn. Thank you. It's like Patreon for comic creators. So people come to your comic, they can comment, they can like it, they can share it on their social media, and then they, they give you three revenue streams that you can pick from. I don't know if you can do all three or if you do just one. I don't really know and I don't really care. They give you three options and it's cool. Revenue stream number one is advertisements. You do this one, you'll get advertisements on the bottom of the page of your comic. It's not on top of your comic. It will not hinder anybody from reading your comic. It's at the bottom of the page, which is really nice. Um, or you can be like a Patreon person and have people giving you money to see your comic monthly, you know? So it's like a monthly subscription. Very cool. It's called coin tipping to them. I don't know. And then I'm not, I didn't see this one and I don't know where this one is, but there's a sales storefront. So you sell your book directly like you would on the other sites but i don't know where that is i didn't find it so it's still i think it's there i just don't know where um the net income goes like this if you do the monthly subscription patreon kind of thing where people subscribe to you you get 85 percent of the net income on that if you do the ad revenue then you get 70 percent on that and then the storefront direct sales thing you get 50 percent, which is not that good but you know i'm not complaining I think it's cool they offer three. It's DRM free, so they're not gonna restrict your comic once it's been sold. And it has a reach of 450,000 people, which is, that's about the uh, average amount of people that go to that site. You know what I just found out though? I just Googled a thing. They make, they get 500 to a million downloads on the Tapas app. So you get 450,000 people going to the website and then you get 500,000 to a million people downloading the app, which means you have a lot more people looking at that than I thought. Dang, that's cool. And those were all five of the top websites that you can submit your comic on to make money. What do you think? Which site suits you? Comment below with any questions or comments, or if you know something that I don't know, please tell me because I'm, I understand I don't know everything. And check out the original article for access to even more websites that you could publish your comic on that we didn't even talk about in this video. And if you want to learn more about the newest, coolest illustration and animation program, subscribe because we'll be making videos about that really soon. Thank you for watching.